Maserati Quadraport, AM 107, 1963-69. The original Maserati Quadraport, Tipo AM 107, was built between 1963 and 1969. It was a large saloon powered by V8 engines, both firsts for a series production Maserati automobile. The task of styling the Quadraport was given to Torini's coach builder Pietro Frua, who drew inspiration from a special 5000 GT, chassis number 103.060, which he had designed in 1962 for Prince Karim Aga Khan. While the design was by Frua, body construction was carried out by Vignal. The Quadraport was introduced at the October to November 1963 Turin Motor Show where our pre-production prototype was on the Maserati stand next to the Mr. Alcu. Regular production began in 1964. The Tipo 107 Quadraport joined two other Grand Tourers, the Face El Viga and the Legenda Rapide, capable of traveling at speeds of up to 200 km per hour, 124 miles per hour, on the new motorways in Europe. It was equipped with a 4.1-liter, 4136 cc or 252 cubic inches V8 engine rated at 264 PS 194 kilowatts 260 horsepower DIN at 5000 revolutions per minute and equipped with either a 5-speed ZF manual transmission or a 3-speed Borg Warner automatic on request Maserati claimed a top speed of 230 kilometers per hour 143 miles per hour. The car was also exported to the United States, where federal regulations mandated twin round headlamps in place of the single rectangular ones found on European models. In 1966, Maserati revised the Tipo 107, adding the twin headlights already used on the US model. A leaf sprung solid axle took place of the previous Stadion tube. The interior was completely redesigned including the dashboard which now had a full width with trimmed fascia. In 1968 alongside the 4.1-liter a 4.7-liter version became also available, AM 107-4700, developing 290 PS, 213 kilowatts, 286 horsepower, DIN. Top speed increased to a claim 255 km per hour, 158 miles per hour making the Quadraport 4700 the fastest four-door sedan in the world at the time. Around 500 of the second series were made, for a total of 776 Tipo 107 Quadraports. Production ended in 1969. The first generation of the Quadraport had a still unibody structure, complemented by a front subframe. Front suspension was independent, with coil springs and hydraulic dampers. Rear suspension used a coil sprung Diddy on tube featuring inboard brakes on the first series, later changed to a more conventional Salisbury leaf sprung solid axle with a single trailing link on the second series. On both axles there were anti roll bars. Brakes were solid girling discs all around. A limited slip differential was optional, 